behalf of the College of Family Physicians of Canada, welcome to the Family Physicians of the Year Awards Ceremony. The College takes great pride in its 28,000 members who define the specialty of family medicine in our country. Tonight we are honored to recognize 10 College members, one from each province, for their outstanding contributions to family medicine practice, teaching and research, as well as special contributions they make to their home communities. Ils ont tous été proposés par des collègues, des membres de leur collectivité et leur section provinciale du CMFC en reconnaissance de l'influence positive qu'ils exercent par leur travail. Nous sommes ravis de remettre le prix Reg L. Perkin à ces médecins de famille accomplis et de leur rendre hommage en tant que médecin de famille de l'année 2012 au Canada. Let's meet tonight's award recipients. Dr. Edgar Mayo, Buren Bay Arm, Newfoundland. A dedicated, compassionate family physician, Dr. Edgar Mayo has practiced rural medicine on the Buren Peninsula in Newfoundland for 36 years. Dr. Mayo earned his medical degree from Memorial University of Newfoundland in 1975. He completed his internship at Dalhousie University and a traineeship in anesthesia at Memorial University. Dr. Mayo received certification in family medicine in 1987 and became a Fellow of the College of Family Physicians of Canada in 2004. D'abord employé du gouvernement de Terre-Neuve, Dr. Mayo a travaillé à la Burren College Hospital, puis en 1977, il a ouvert un cabinet en médecine familiale qui offre des soins complets et globaux. En plus de sa pratique, Dr. Mayo travaille à titre d'urgentologue au Burren Peninsula Health Care Center et voyage par bateau pour fournir des soins à trois communautés éloignées situées sur la côte sud de Terre-Neuve. Il supervise également des résidents en médecine familiale et des infirmières praticiennes à Memorial University. Dr. Mayo served on a joint municipal committee that successfully brought the health care center and 11 full-time specialists to the peninsula. He also worked with the Buren Peninsula Healthcare Foundation to support related fundraising events. In 2010, Dr. Mayo's commitment to family medicine was recognized when the town of Buren dedicated a Memorial University Medical Scholarship in his name. He also received the Dr. Yong Ki Jian Award from the Faculty of Medicine at Memorial University. Dr. Mayo is married to Beth and has two daughters, Penny and Erin. He is also the proud grandfather of two boys and one little princess. In his spare time, he enjoys playing music, woodworking, and messing around on his fleet of boats. This award confirms what I've always known. I am a very fortunate man. I am thankful for the support of my family, colleagues, and patients. Dr. Edgar Mayo, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Newfoundland and Labrador. Dr. Paul Kelly, Summerside, Prince Edward Island. Dr. Paul Kelly's medical career has been focused in Atlantic Canada and includes an adventure to Botswana, Africa, where he volunteered as a physician for two years with CUSO International. Diplômé en médecine de l'Université d'Arlozy, Le Dr. Kelly a obtenu la certification en médecine familiale en 1979 et le titre de Fellow du Collège en 2001. Dr. Kelly began practicing family medicine with the Newfoundland Cottage Hospital System in 1972. In 1977, after returning from Africa, he joined the Summerside Medical Center in his hometown, where he practiced family medicine until 2001 then moved to a collaborative practice at the Harborside Family Health Center. Currently, Dr. Kelly is resource physician to the Integrated Palliative Care Team with Prince County Hospital, where he has served as Chief of Staff and Head of Family Medicine. Son dévouement envers la médecine familiale a été reconnu à maintes reprises. Il a reçu le prix d'excellence en soins palliatifs du CMFC en 2006, le prix Tom Moore de l'hôpital Prince County en 2001, et le prix de la Medical Society Health Promotion de l'île du Prince-Édouard en 1994. Dr. Kelly's committee involvement includes roles with the PEI Medical Society Board, the Canadian Medical Association's Council on Healthcare and Promotion, and the Council on Education and Workforce. He currently serves on the PEI Provincial Medical Advisory Committee. 
Dr. Kelly enjoys spending time with his wife of 33 years, Catherine, whom he met in Botswana, their adult sons, Sean and Ian, their Rottweiler, Sasha, and their cat, Miss Kitty. He keeps fit through running, snowshoeing, and gardening. Practicing family medicine over the past 40 years has been a truly rewarding experience. I enjoy the daily challenges, the learning opportunities, and collaborating with a team of committed health professionals to provide the best possible care for our patients. Dr. Paul Kelly, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Prince Edward Island. Dr. Jane Brooks, Middleton, Nova Scotia. Known for her many contributions to family medicine in the small communities of Middleton, Bridgetown and Greenwood, Nova Scotia, Dr. Jane Brooks' passion for rural family medicine has made a big impact to the lives of her students and patients. After earning both her doctorate in microbiology and immunology and her medical degree at Dalhousie University, Dr. Brooks went on to complete her residency training at Memorial University. She received certification in family medicine in 1999. Soon after starting her career, Dr. Brooks and her husband Eric, also a family physician, formed the Middleton Collaborative Practice, a comprehensive family medicine practice considered a pioneer for collaborative practices in Nova Scotia. It was also one of the first in Nova Scotia to adopt a fully functional electronic medical record system. This practice now serves as a teaching site for family medicine residents. Par son implication dans l'Association médicale canadienne et Doctors Nova Scotia, dont elle a été présidente, Dr. Brooks a aidé à améliorer les soins dans la région de la vallée de l'Annapolis. Elle a siégé à de nombreux comités locaux et provinciaux et a été médecin-chef au Soldiers Memorial Hospital. Elle est actuellement directrice adjointe du département de médecine familiale de cette même région. In 2007, Dr. Brooks' mentorship, leadership and professionalism were acknowledged with the Preceptor of the Year Award from Dalhousie University. Dr. Brooks enjoys spending family time with Eric and their two active sons, John and Ned. She supports her son's sports teams both by cheering loudly and by serving on their executives. She also enjoys gardening, cooking and cycling. It's always an honor to receive an award, but it's an even bigger honor and humbling experience to be recognized by my colleagues for this award. I'm thankful for having the trust of my patients, residents, students and colleagues, and the opportunity to continue earning that trust each day. Dr. Jane Brooks, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Nova Scotia. Dr. Gregory Donald, Moncton, New Brunswick. Known to many for his charisma, his wisdom, and for going beyond the call of duty as a family physician, Dr. Gregory Donald is recognized for his dedication throughout his distinguished career. Dr. Donald has practiced family medicine at the Moncton Medical Clinic for 32 years. His practice has taken him from the ER to the OR, to labor and delivery to many of his patients' homes. He is an undergraduate and postgraduate preceptor and lecturer at Dalhousie University as well as Faculty Development Coordinator at the Northumberland Family Medicine Teaching Unit of the Horizon Health Network. Dr. Donald's work is complemented by mixing empathy with humor, continuity with competence. His teaching method focuses the residents on the F word, how to be firm, fair, and fun with patients, and how to finesse your skills and be flexible. Dr. Donald a siégé à de nombreux comités et groupes de travail, y compris le comité médical consultatif de l'hôpital extramural du Nouveau-Brunswick. Il est aussi un membre actif de la section des enseignants du CMFC. Né à Charlottetown, île du Prince-Édouard, Dr. Donald a fait ses études et sa formation en médecine à l'Université d'Arlosie. Il a obtenu son diplôme en 1980 la certification en médecine familiale en 1985 et le titre de Fellow du Collège en 2004. If he had more spare time, Dr. Donald would enjoy canoeing, rugby and basketball, but at present he can only dream of participating in these activities. However, Dr. Donald does help in the kitchen as a sous chef for his wife Cindy and their three children, Nicholas, Kelly and Jillian. Family medicine is a wonderful experience to be useful in so many different ways. I appreciate the opportunity 
to combine patient care with a mix of continuity and competency, along with enthusiasm, passion, and lots of fun. Dr. Gregory Donald, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for New Brunswick. Dr. André Gagnon, Blainville, Québec. Dévouée et compatissante, Dr. André Gagnon a axé sa carrière sur les soins de maternité et de périnatalité. Diplômée en médecine à l'Université de Montréal, elle a complété sa résidence à la Cité de la Santé de Laval et obtenu la certification en médecine familiale en 1992. Since 1992, Dr. Gagnon has practiced family medicine, including obstetrics with the Hôtel Dieu de Saint-Jérôme and the Clinique Médicale Saint-Antoine in Saint-Jérôme, Québec. In 2001, she became head of the Department of Periantology with Hôtel Dieu de Saint-Jérôme and continues to specialize in prenatal, perinatal and postpartum care, as well as in neonatal care and pediatrics. De 2001 à 2005, Dr. Gagnon a représenté les médecins de famille au Comité en soins périnataux de la région des Basses-Laurentides, un groupe qui intègre les services de sages-femmes aux soins obstétriques à l'Hôtel Dieu de Saint-Jérôme. Elle siège au comité de programme sur les soins de maternité et de périnatalité du CNFC et au comité d'études du fœtus et du nouveau-né de la Société canadienne de pédiatrie, où elle est représentante du CMFC pour le Québec. En 2011, Dr Gagnon a siégé à titre d'experte à deux projets mandatés par le ministre québécois de la Santé, dont l'un sur la réduction des interventions inutiles en obstétrique et l'autre sur l'amélioration de l'accessibilité des soins périnataux dans la région de Montréal. Dr Gagnon participates in many outdoor activities, including cycling 20 km to work at least twice a week. She enjoys playing the piano, spending time with her six children, one grandchild and two dogs, and plans at least one family trip a year to different parts of the world. La médecine familiale m'a toujours intéressée par son approche globale des soins de santé. En tant que médecin de famille, je peux participer aux différentes étapes marquantes de la vie de mes patients. C'est pour moi un plaisir de pouvoir offrir mon appui, mes conseils et mon aide lorsqu'un de mes patients connaît des problèmes de santé. C'est une expérience vraiment gratifiante. Dr André Gagnon Médecin de famille canadienne de l'année au Québec. Dr. Peter Wells, Collingwood, Ontario. A passion for rural family medicine education and practice has been the milestones of a successful career for Dr. Peter Wells. Dr. Wells received his medical degree from McMaster University in 1980. In 1982, he received certification in family medicine and became Fellow of the College of Family Physicians of Canada in 2002. Après un début de carrière à Oakville, il a ouvert son propre cabinet à Collingwood en 1987, où il continue à offrir des soins complets et globaux, y compris en obstétrique. Jusqu'à tout récemment, il travaillait également au service d'urgence à la Collingwood General and Marine Hospital. In 1988, Dr. Wells's vision for enhancing the profile of rural family medicine led him to develop the Rural Ontario Medical Program, an education program serving 65 communities that is highly regarded by all six of Ontario's medical schools. His efforts were acknowledged in 2002 when Dr. Wells received the Rural Service Award from the Society of Rural Physicians of Canada. Dr. Wells est actuellement professeur adjoint en clinique à l'Université de Toronto et à l'Université McMaster et facilitateur en formation médicale continue à l'Université McMaster. Dr. Wells has held many leadership roles with committees and organizations at both the local hospital and provincial levels. In 2007, Dr. Wells was appointed Vice Chair of the Health Force Ontario Marketing and Recruitment Agency by the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario and continues his role as Chair of the Board. Dr. Wells attributes his success to his father, a general surgeon, and grandfather, a family physician. He enjoys creating wood habitats for animals and spending time with his wife Connie and four children at their remote island cottage in Georgian Bay. Following in my father's and grandfather's footsteps, I chose family medicine when I realized I could practice comprehensive medicine, be involved in many different procedures, and have the added bonus of continuity of care. 
to be able to pass this passion on through teaching and mentoring is just the icing on the cake. Dr. Peter Wells, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Ontario. Dr. Francis Berard, Notre Dame de Lourdes, Manitoba. Dr. Francis Berard est honoré pour son dévouement à la médecine familiale en milieu rural, notamment auprès de la communauté francophone de Notre Dame de Lourdes au Manitoba. Diplômé de l'Université du Manitoba, Dr. Bérard a complété sa résidence au Centre de médecine familiale de l'Hôpital Général Saint-Boniface en 1991. Dr. Berard received certification in family medicine in 1991 and became a Fellow of the College of Family Physicians of Canada in 2004. In 1991, Dr. Berard began practicing family medicine at the Kildonan Medical Center in Winnipeg as a locum for sabbatical leave. Since 1992, she has served as Chief of Staff at the Centre de Santé Notre-Dame, where she practices comprehensive family medicine, including hospital and emergency care, obstetrics, and long-term care. She also works at the Miami Medical Clinic, a satellite clinic in Miami, Manitoba. Dr. Bérard est actuellement directrice adjointe du programme bilingue de médecine familiale à l'Université du Manitoba. Elle supervise également des résidents en médecine familiale de deuxième année et des étudiants de tous les niveaux inscrits au programme bilingue en médecine. Pendant dix ans, elle a été conseillère en pratique médicale auprès des étudiants diplômés hors Canada. En 2008, Dr. Bérard a été présidente du Collège des médecins de famille du Manitoba. Elle est membre du comité consultatif sur l'adhésion et du comité de programme sur les médecines hospitalières du CMFC. Elle enseigne également des cours avancés de réanimation obstétricale. In all of her work, Dr. Berard is supported by her husband Leo and their three children, Marissa, Zoe and Alexis. In her spare time, she enjoys cross-country skiing. C'est pour moi un honneur d'être médecin de famille et de faire partie de l'équipe soignante de mes patients. Every day, I have the opportunity to be a clinician, academic, healer, teacher, colleague, problem solver, and listener, and every single day I am a student of life. Dr. Francis Berard, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Manitoba. Dr. Daniel Johnson, Kindersley, Saskatchewan. Dr. Daniel Johnson was nominated by his colleagues and medical residents for his outstanding commitment to family medicine throughout his 38-year career. Dr. Johnson received his medical degree from the University of Saskatchewan in 1971 and completed his family medicine residency at St. Joseph's Family Medical Centre at the University of Western Ontario in 1974. That same year, he received certification in family medicine and became a Fellow of the College of Family Physicians of Canada in 2001. Dr. Johnson began practicing family medicine in Tyne Valley PEI in 1974. In 1975, he returned to Saskatchewan and began practicing family medicine with an interest in anesthesia at the Kindersley Clinic in Kindersley, Saskatchewan, where he continues to practice today. Among his many roles with the University of Saskatchewan, Dr. Johnson serves as clinical associate professor and preceptor for medical students and residents. He also participates as an evaluator of local and international applicants applying to the family medicine program. Parmi ses activités professionnelles, Dr. Johnson a été président du Collège des médecins de famille de la Saskatchewan en 1982 et a siégé au conseil d'administration de l'Association médicale de la Saskatchewan. Il a été président du Kinsman Club de sa région et de la Kindersley Drug and Alcohol Abuse Society. Dr. Johnson a également été entraîneur de natation au club communautaire de natation. In all of his work, Dr. Johnson is supported by his wife Connie, son Neil, and daughter Camille, their spouses Michelle and Josh, and is also a proud grandfather of four. Dr. Johnson enjoys spending time at the family cottage, golfing, and cycling. He once cycled in the World Masters Games in Edmonton and completed a cycling tour from Ottawa to Toronto. It is a great honor to accept the Reg L. Perkin Award as Saskatchewan Family Physician of the Year. Living and practicing medicine in a rural Saskatchewan community for the past 37 years has been most rewarding. 
Dr. Daniel Johnson, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Saskatchewan. Dr. Mike Donoff, Edmonton, Alberta. Dr. Mike Donoff is recognized for his extensive contributions to family medicine practice, education, and patient advocacy through his work in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Alberta. Diplômé en médecine de l'Université d'Alberta, Dr. Donoff a obtenu la certification en médecine familiale en 1979 et le titre de Fellow du Collège en 1988. Pendant 30 ans, il a fourni des soins complets et globaux, y compris l'obstétrique, au Royal Alexandra Hospital Family Medicine Center à Edmonton. Il a quitté la pratique active en 2006, mais est toujours directeur de clinique du centre. At the University of Alberta, Dr. Donoff is actively involved as full professor and associate chair of the Department of Family Medicine. He also serves as co-chair of the Edmonton Oliver Primary Care Network and has been involved with physician assessment, electronic medical record development, and quality improvement measures. Dr. Donoff has served on several CFPC committees and as a consultant to the U.S. Task Force on Competency Assessment in Family Medicine. He has also been instrumental in developing a competency-based assessment system, a method that provides residents with focused feedback on performance in a number of domains. This system is being adopted by the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Alberta and piloted by a variety of Royal College specialty programs. Outside of work, Dr. Donoff enjoys outdoor activities and spending time with his wife Denusia, his daughter Gabrielle, and his son Chris. They also have an impressive collection of board games. Futurists tell us that we are moving beyond the information age to one of networked intelligence. And this is where we access each other's experience and skills. Family physicians have achieved this transition with the founding of the College of Family Physicians of Canada. I am grateful to have accessed the expertise and dedication of family physicians through the network of the college throughout my career. Dr. Mike Donoff, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for Alberta. Dr. Stanley Lubin, Vancouver, British Columbia. Dr. Stanley Lubin is recognized for his genuine commitment to family medicine and is highly respected by his colleagues and patients. After earning his medical degree at McGill University, Dr. Lubin moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, where he completed his internship at St. Paul's Hospital. He completed extra training in anesthesia and obstetrics in the United Kingdom and received his Masters of Public Health in Epidemiology at the University of Hawaii. Dr. Lubin began working as a general practitioner and anesthetist in Shelt, BC. He served as head of the Department of Family Practice at Shaughnessy Hospital and as director of the Inpatient Family Practice Teaching Ward with the University of British Columbia in 1987. In 1994, he served as director of the Family Medicine Residency Program and continued in full-service family practice, including obstetrics and hospital care. He recently retired, but remains an emeritus professor with the Faculty of Medicine at UBC. Dr. Lobin a obtenu la certification en médecine familiale en 1981 et le titre de Fellow du Collège en 1991. Il détient un diplôme en économie et des certificats en soins avancés en réanimation cardiaque, néonatale et traumatologique. In 1992 and in 2012, Dr. Lubin was recognized as Teacher of the Year from the Family Medicine Department, UBC. He received the Peter Grantham Award for Teaching Excellence from the Family Medicine Department, UBC, in 2005 and was adopted into the Haida First Nations Wolf Clan. Dr. Lubin enjoys rock climbing, squash, and spending time with his wife Jean, whom he met in Africa while working with CUSO International, and their two sons, David and Jonathan. It is a real privilege to have a calling that gives me the opportunity to help and understand people, that is intellectually challenging, and that involves me in the teaching of others. I am a fortunate man to be a family physician in Canada. Dr. Stanley Lubin, Canada's Family Physician of the Year for British Columbia.
It is a pleasure to acknowledge this year's Reg L. Perkin Award recipients for their outstanding dedication to family medicine and the significant difference they make in the lives of their patients, colleagues, and communities. Ladies and gentlemen, let's join together to congratulate Canada's Family Physicians of the Year for 2012. Mesdames et messieurs, joignez-vous à moi pour féliciter les médecins de famille de l'année 2012 au Canada.